Hi, hey, and all those other greetings for adventures. I'm Jake Spins, welcoming you guys back to my gaming and unboxing channel, where today we're starting a brand new playthrough of Super Princess Peach, a game that my sister had when we were kids that me and my brother wanted to play, but we never owned. So we actually borrowed the game from her, put it in our DS, and for some reason, the file corrupted. So, ever since that point, not only did me and my brother never get to play Super Princess Peach, but we never actually traded games and let each other borrow each other's games on the DS because we were so terrified that each other's DSs would corrupt our save files. So, that being said, I have never played this game. I've only seen things from the internet only heard things from my sister, and I have no knowledge of this game. But like Mario Kart DS, I've been wanting to play this for quite a long time. The other thing, too, is that Princess Peach does not have any other game. This is the only game that Princess Peach has, and there's actually more games from Toad and Tingle than Princess Peach. Granted, for Toad, it's just three versions of Captain Toad, Tingle, yeah, yeah, Peach has no excuse to have less games than Tingle. But I digress. It's time to finally jump in to Super Princess Peach and uh, hopefully have a fantastic time. Now I'm going to tell uh, all you guys on YouTube what I told the people on Twitch. Um, I'm getting over a sinus infection, so I might have random coughing fits, and I apologize for that. Um, it might be a little bit hard for me to talk, but I'm going to do my absolute best. Yo, dude, this game already gives me Yoshi Island vibes with, like, the map up there. And, like, with all the clouds and the sky. Ooh, dude. Dude, this already looks very, very cute. The sprite work looks so nice. Um, so we're going to find out, is this game good? But also, not only is this game good, um, why haven't we gotten another one? And I hope this game isn't the answer of why we haven't gotten a second Peach game. Um, and it's a hidden gem. That's what we're going to hope for. Um, now, I'm not going to lie. From what I do know of this game, we are going to have to talk about um, some unfortunate things here. Because um, the theming of the game is a bit... Mm, and we're going to have to talk about that stuff. But um, we're not going to talk about that until that stuff comes up. I also do have a stylus because this is going to be a stylus heavy game from what I would assume. Or maybe I could use my finger. But we're going to start with number two. This is, this is Mysterious Vibe Island. Is a land not far from the Mushroom Kingdom. A land ra rarely spoken of. For Vibe Island is said to hold great power. Bowser heard of it and built a summer villa there. Hearing of an item called the Vibe Scepter. Okay, Mar and Luigi try to try to stop him from getting the vibes. We did it! We finally found it! The legendary Vibe Scepter! What? Really? Fantastic! At last, we'll have our revenge on Mario and his annoying pals. Hey, idiot, not so loud! Did he build a summer villa, like, under their summer villa or something? Like... You're in a castle. People are going to see it very easily. <laughs> oh, we have to close the door or Bowser's going to have a big head. There we go. These walls have ears, you know. Oh, why'd you build them with ears, dude? <laughs> All right. I'll show Mario and co who's boss once and for all. Ha ha ha. Without further ado, let's take this scepter for a test run. You, Goomba, come here. Kind of looks like a Magikoopa wand. Take this scepter to the Mushroom Kingdom and wave it in the air. Since you once lived in the Mushroom Kingdom, you'll go unnoticed. Go, minions. Go show Mario who and friends who's boss. It's cool that they're actually bringing that, uh, that lore into this. Oh, and dude, look at the Hammer Brothers at the bottom. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and they have little, like, shell walkie-talkies. Oh, dude, why why was that never merchandised? Oh, 
Oh, I accidentally activated a microphone thing. Hopefully there's not too many of those in there. Oh dang, that, that long Goomba did, did a number on the Mushroom Kingdom. Poor Luigi, he looks so depressed. Mario's trying Toad and Luigi are like, no, nah, we lost. <laughs> There's also a lot of games on the DS with these guys in prison. Because that happens in Mario Party DS as well. It's very strange. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, why is that? Oh, there we go. Shoutouts to Ren for joining the party. That's layered a little bit long, wrong. Let me, let me fix that. Hopefully we didn't miss too, too much. All right, he's bringing the scepter. Oh, he's so happy. It's like, la 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 la, I got the scepter. <coughs> what, you idiot, what are you doing? Oh, he's waving it. He's waving it. <laughs> all right, so now you get to see what the scepter is all about, the vibe scepter. We got a happy, we got some crying, we got some anger. We got some jolly joy from Bowser. And at that moment, Princess Peach returned from her walk. Oh, okay, so she just got lucky to, to be with Toad and Toadsworth and be on a walk at this point. <laughs> what? What's this? What's the hubbo loop? Oh, I didn't even remember Luigi got captured in 3D Land. Bwahaha! You bratty mushroom losers. This time I've captured Mario. Who will save you now? If you want him, come get him. <laughs> we can't rely on Mario this time. Mario can't save Mario. <laughs> that's, why, that's why they invented the double cherry. After this, they were like, well, the only person that can save Mario is Mario. So we'll clone him and we'll keep a Mario just hidden away in a vault. <laughs> You lad! You <laughs> okay. Dude, I can't read this. I can't read this. It's going way too quick. I'm too slow of a reader. Princess! Oh, oh god. Wait, wait, this is scored? Get out, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you, toads. I'll fight you. Get back. Get back. In the hallways. Because it's doing this score thing and it's trying to get us to read things. I'm more focused on the bottom screen. And I don't have a second layout, so I hope this is okay. If there's a story we're supposed to be paying attention to, then um, I'm not. Because I'm de I'm busy dealing with, uh, with a toad mob over here. It's Emotions Black Friday right now. And all these toads are, are ready. They got their coupons. I'm missing a very pivotal part of this story because I'm fighting toads. Did they really think this story would be so boring that they put this on the bottom screen? Cause there's like, there's a high score here and everything. It's very, very strange. <laughs> but yeah, he's like, yeah, go, go beat up the bad guys. Here's an umbrella. All right, 102. I was, I was apparently paying attention. <laughs> Clover says, but what if Mario saves Mario by saving Mario who was once Mario that became Mario? Exactly. Exactly. All right. Oh, bottom screen's important. Okay, we're just going into 1-1? One, one? All right, cool. So here's how this game works. So... The thing is, I don't think she was affected by, by the Vibe Scepter, which is why this is a little bit weird. And yeah, the Vibe Scepter is not a great name. But yeah, we can run, we can jump, and we can attack with a B and a Y. Most enemies can be defeated by jumping on them or attacking. On R to walk very slowly. Okay. So very simple. Not sure why we have a slow button, but I'm sure that'll come into play at some point. All right, we can bonk this as well. Um, so we can find coins to buy items in the shop. 
Hearts will refill your hearts, which is very nice. Because um, Mario with health bar is always just something that I'm, I'm very, very happy about. We also have three toads to collect. So the thing that makes this game very controversial is that it's the first time that Peach is playable in her own solo game and it's based on emotions. Yeah, I don't think I really need to say too much more than than that because um yeah, unfortunately um there's this whole thing about like the stigma of females being emotional and you know, a whole play on that which I want to be very careful because I don't want to upset anybody and I I don't think they were intending on it to necessarily be um, be offensive in that way but it did come off as you know not really the best the best message but um but yeah that's pretty much um, the beat around the bush way of, of saying this. So we have four different emotions. We have joy, which lets us fly. Which, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If I could fly from being happy, that would be fantastic. We can be extremely sad crying and running, which makes like plants grow and stuff. Um, we can also be angry, which sets us on fire. And Joy, which I don't know what Joy does because we ran out of out of meter to use it. Um, but essentially, the reason why people say that this is um, this is very like sexist is, and you know, to an, to an extent, I can understand why. Um, even though this isn't necessarily the intention, but even if it's not the intention, it's how it can come across. Is that essentially? You have a female character, never had a game before, and you have a ton of mood swings. Yeah, that didn't set right with a lot of people. Um, which, I mean, you know, fair. Fair. I figured it's probably best that I say it, and it doesn't really help that they have, um, have the main mechanic be called the, the Vibe Scepter. Um, which, because of a PG channel, we're not gonna go over with. Um, why it sounds weird. But yeah, it says she has four different vibes. Joy, rage, gloom, and calm. The other thing too is that all of these emotions are set as powers. Um, but yeah, like New Boomerang says, um, technically this game is very dated and sexist. So yeah, unfortunately, like if this was made today, it would not, it would not be made today basically because it's very it's very out of touch see it's hard because i don't want to say the wrong thing basically um but touch heart panels to swap out vibes and use special moves uh touch one twice and return back to normal yeah so that's the thing you can just have emotions on a dime and as a concept it's not necessarily the worst concept, it's mainly just how it's presented. You know, and the fact that like, every single person in the Mushroom Kingdom has to have a reason why they're emotional, but then Peach doesn't? Yeah, that's not great. That's really not great, because she wasn't affected by this like, quote unquote, vibe scepter at all. So... Had she had been affected by it, then you could at least give it a very, like, loose pass, but you really can't do that. Oh, it looks like I could have probably jumped on that Goomba to get that big coin, but that's okay. We missed out on it, and, you know, that's gonna, that's gonna happen. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah, it wants us to use the joy. <laughs> the joy vibe. Because, you know, when you're happy, you can just fly. As as all people can do when they're happy. You know? If you if you tell me that when you're happy, you can't fly, then I'm calling shenanigans. <laughs> okay, the Gloom Joy uh, will make you cry. You can spray water on whatever. Press A to jump. 
and we can have the hearts to uh, to restore things. So essentially, this is like very much a tutorial area as well. Yeah, Peach is very is a very powerful character. It's kind of unfortunate that this is the way that they're sh they're showcasing it, though. All right, did you know when you press start uh, while pressing R on the title screen, you can play an opening minigame? Okay, well that's that's cool to know. Yeah, but essentially we're gonna have like emotion-based um, enemy variants and stuff like that. So it, it's like there are gonna be neat stuff about it. But the main premise is essentially not great. And um, that's essentially all I'm going to try to say about it, just because I feel like at this point it's probably been oversaid, and I just want to see um, how good or how bad this game is. Um, and hopefully it at least... It's at least a little bit okay. All right, so we've got a lot of coins up here. We got some gems. It'd also be nice if there was a run button because like, this is how slow you can move. This is how fast you can go. It feels like you should be able to go a little bit faster, to be honest. Okay, I can probably fly a little bit as well. Like oh she flies so slow. All right. All right, cool, we found a secret. Uh, you got the score for peach voice one cool we have to unlock peach's voice clips <laughs> that's so strange but okay uh did you know that if you collect a lot of music scores you'll get more and more band members oh, okay get five members to join and you'll have a legendary band with peach on vocals all right well that that's neat i guess Whee! All right, so we get that. So I don't know if I'm gonna collect every single toad as well. Um, I would like to, but th that's the thing. Like, it's essentially star coins in Mario, except they're alive or, uh, <laughs> you know, like Mighty Switch Force where you collect the babies, which I still find very strange. Yeah, they're in these boxes, they're in ropes. Not sure why Bowser just flung them all over the place, though. Oh, okay, so that was number three. Hmm, okay. So I guess the question is, where would Toad 2 be? Maybe I'm just going to the button. I'm 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 going to the button. I think my best bet is to maybe assume that that's actually the second one and just continue on. Oh my god, he's right there! <laughs> I spent all this time searching for this goober thinking that, oh, of course, he must be the third one, so I must have missed one somewhere. No, no, all I had to do was walk forward. God dang it. God dang it. Well, editing spins will get us over here and and clean this up, it's fine. Ooh, okay, so what do I need to get? I'm assuming the star. Okay. Okay, so we want the star. And we jump. Oh, we missed it by one. <laughs> and we get one coin because we get a turn up. If this was Animal Crossing, we would get so much more money from that. So unfortunate. All right, well, let's see the shop. What's, uh, what's in here? Hello. Okay, so we can get the float brella, the pound brella, and the charge brella. Not gonna lie, we would definitely want the float one. Oh, so this is how you get power-ups. Interesting. Okay, I'm not sure how I necessarily feel about that, but I mean, Shantae does that, so I guess it's fine. Alright, anyway though, let's jump into World 1-2. Oh, okay, so we've got a little, a nice little forest. And I forgot that you had to hit X to pick things up. What's this? What's... <laughs> Walks into a Goomba. Oh! Okay. Okay, that's a little overdramatic, but sure. 
All right, well, at least the first guy's up here. I'm just whack. Here we go. You're saved. Imagine that, Toad. Imagine that. Oh, dude, they're already respawned? What's that about? Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we found something here. We can do some nice spinning and basically be like Tails. So does this mean that Peach is both a fly type, a power type, and a, uh, a speed type in terms of Sonic? So that's actually kind of wild. Ow! Curse you. God, that's the slowest moving shell too. All right. Squat down when you carry enemies and I'll absorb... Excuse me? Excuse me? You can eat my enemies to... To fuel my emotion? I don't know if I like that. I... Mmm. Mmm. No, no, never mind. It's not that I don't know if I like that. I don't like that. I mean, I guess Kirby does the same thing, but like... Why can I... Why can my umbrella, who is sentient, just eat a Koopa for emotion? Why? I don't like this. I don't like that. Sorry, let me fuel my emotion by eating these endless shrooms over here. <laughs> What's that about? I, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not vibing with that. I don't care if you call it the Vibe Scepter or not. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going with those vibes. <laughs> Alright. God, Perry's already such a weird character. <laughs> Oh, what? Those are fast-falling donuts. Okay, I mean, that is what would happen if you stood on, like, an actual legitimate donut, but whatever. Hi, Goomba. You having a nice day? Not anymore. Because <laughs> my umbrella is going to eat you. Wait, wait, let me... There we go. I had a feeling. I had a feeling there was a toad just stashed down there. Like, World 1, they're definitely going to hide things like that. You know what? We're just going to leave that Koopa to his shame. I'm just going to take your home. And, uh, you know, I was going to take it with me and, and sell it. But my umbrella got a little bit too, uh, too hungry. So, uh, yeah, sorry, dude. But, uh, yeah, it's gone. My umbrella can't tell the difference between things that are living and Reese's Cups. It just thinks that everything is candy. And you know, that's th that's the problem with having a sentient umbrella. It doesn't follow the rules of logic. <laughs> All right, what what candy would every Mario enemy be? I feel like a Goomba, Goomba would probably be a Hershey Kiss. Let's see. What, a Koopa would definitely be something with a wrapper though. So I guess maybe that could be a Reese's Cup. Maybe a Twix bar? Because of, like, the, the wafer inside? <laughs> oh, God! Sad Goomba be sad. Sad Goomba be eaten! Oh, no! <laughs> Hi, dude. I, I see you living your best life. Uh, see, you might think that it's that it's mean that I threw him, but actually I was saving him from my, from my sentient umbrella. I was doing him a favor, believe it or not. Okay, so we can't break those, it looks like. Alright, there we go. I didn't want to eat it! <laughs> Stop eating people's homes! You're gonna destroy the economy, Perry! <laughs> okay, we got a mushroom which is 10. Jeez, man. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright. So I feel like we could probably get an upgrade at this point, right? I kind of want the float umbrella because that just seems helpful. Especially for trying to find secrets. Secret secrets are very fun, especially when you have the money to buy them. That, that's totally the saying, right? <laughs> Alright, this episode's fairly long, but I messed up a fair amount, so we're gonna keep going. 
All right, and now we can float too. Aha, wood, meet fire. Yeah, if you didn't know, this was just Sonic 3 and Knuckles. <laughs> We're just gonna set off every single wooden bridge. Infinite bubble shield. My gosh, man. My gosh. Oh, we bonk those. We bonk those, that's right. See, the other nice thing is, technically, if you didn't want to uh, platform at all, you could just you could just use the emotions or, or float and you'll be good. Oh, Goomba having babies. I'm sorry, you will be a, a, a little factory for my umbrella. Just never, never ending. See, I feel like, I feel like this is just gonna make it to be to where I can go up, but I might as well just in case. Oh, okay, it was something. Okay. Well, I'll leave you guys to need a towel. Oh, oh, spi spins. That's the opposite of how you platform. That is the exact opposite. <laughs> okay, there we go. Avoid the donuts! Oh, dude, for a second I didn't even, like, move there either. Was that it? That's all that was? Oh, and it's only temporary flight? Okay, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. But you know what? That's okay, because Peach is actually relatively quick. I know the first toad was here. So we can just float over these guys. We can be fine. Oh, angry flying guy? Bonk. You gone. You have no say in this. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Well, I feel like that seems like the more daring area. So if I were Bowser, I would f I would probably put, uh, put some stuff there. Okay. Those blue things fall when you cross at normal speed. Try to cross quickly. Um, okay. I'm angry that I'm slow. No? Um... This- this is like... This is like the Shy Guy board <laughs> from... From Mario Party 4. I'm sad that I'm slow. Okay, so sad is speed. Sure. That makes sense. Oh! Okay, well you're telling me to fly, so I guess I'll fly high. So I can reach the highest of all the toads. Somebody save him. Oh, we bonk you. We bonk you. We bonk you again. We bonk you. We bonk you. We bonk you. Oh, all the bonks. All the bonks. Unfortunately, there's no lives here because that would be like such a good way to get lives in this game because they don't actually die when you get squished. <laughs> or when they get squished, they just like flail there. It's also a little bit weird because most most games this era have lives. Wow, I just realized how sad that was. They're like, we have to make it easier for the target demographic, so we're just not gonna give lives here. Wow, Nintendo. Wow. It's just sad. Ooh, okay. Okay, dude, this is such a big question because one of them definitely has a toad. Is this the toad area? What? That's an enemy? Dude, that's just a flower. What? What? Uh, okay, it says to be happy. Sure. We got rid of the sentient puffy cornbread. <laughs> Very strange. But hey, at least we saved another toad. We saved a toad from being eaten for, by cornbread, so that's a that's a win in my book. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Alrighty. Oh, look at it, look at this. This is so cute. That's actually really cute. 
Why, why do you just have random things in levels telling me about the title screen? That's very strange. Ah, uh, dude. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> like I said before, that would have been so expensive inside of, uh... <laughs> Whatchamacallit. What do you call it? Animal Grousing? Oh, that random plant that hurt me is a... Uh, Mario World Lava Lotus. You know what? This is a fairly long level. I don't know how long it's going to be or episode. <clears throat> so that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Share us out with everyone known love. Brother, mother, sister, father, iguana. And I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Super Princess Peach. Thanks for watching my video guys. If you look over to the left you can see the playlist for this series as well as a fun video and if you scroll your eyes over to the right you can subscribe to the channel as well as see a video from my archives or some such thing that I've decided to put there. Anyway though, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys next time.